Hey guys, welcome back to another video on my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Liana, and I create bookish and lifestyle content. So for today's video, I wanted to bring us along with me to experience my last day of my 8th grade year. I know it's crazy because even myself, I feel like I can't even process I'll be going to 9th grade next year, and it all feels super strange to me, but anyways, I think I'm ready to be going to 9th grade because I learned so much this year in 8th grade and I'm ready to continue my new journey in life but at the same time I really enjoyed 8th grade and it's definitely one of my favorite years and um, that's kind of weird coming from me because I don't think I ever told you guys this but I didn't really enjoy my elementary school years and that was because I surrounded myself with toxic people and I didn't really like the person I was becoming so I made it my goal to basically become a better person in high school and also try new things out that I didn't really do in elementary and that definitely was one of the best decisions of my life and I definitely liked this year a lot and I got to do new things and I'm really proud of what I've accomplished this year so yeah that's pretty much it for this whole update but um right now it is monday june 24th and i actually don't have school today and that's because the seniors they have grass ceremony so the other grades they don't have to attend school and my actual last day is tomorrow which is tuesday june 25th honestly i don't think we'll be doing anything during that day and because i already finished all my finals so honestly it's actually just like a reflection and party day so i think i'm gonna try to film all of that i'm not exactly sure how much footage i would get but that's pretty much what i'll be doing tomorrow hopefully hopefully i won't be getting too much work but um honestly i don't know how to feel about this like i don't think my body is like even processing that it's going to be summer break and that after tomorrow there will be no school for like the next two months and i don't think my body realizes that but i'm pretty ready for tomorrow and i am so happy the stress is like off my shoulders and stuff because this literally this June month has been super stressful with all the finals and stuff so I'm really glad that that is over but I think definitely think next year it's probably gonna be even worse because you know as each years go like like I said in my other school vlog that um it's just gonna get harder but I think that's just how life is but yeah so anyways um without further ado let's get started on with the video Hey guys, so currently it's June 25th and it's a Tuesday and it is the last day of my 8th grade year. So that's great and I'm just packing up right now. I'm probably going to head out in a few minutes. But yeah, so it doesn't really feel real but like I feel like my body is actually like, you know, considering it is summer break and not actually school again. So I feel kind of weird right now but um, here's what I look like right now. Um, I just like... I already showed you guys my outfit, but um, I'm wearing this shirt and then I'm wearing some jeans. But yeah, and then um, I just have my food over here, and as you can see, it's 751. Here's what outside looks like. It's really nice weather, so that's great. Yeah, so that's all for me, so I'll see you guys there. <laughs>
dance classes and first we just watched a film and then we started last goodbye said oh my god guys um my friend teacher she gave us like a croissant or something i don't know it's like a treat from france and like i'm kind of excited to eat it but i'm gonna show you guys later but um for science we just corrected our quizzes and also our essay and then we just play some more games so yeah um it's honestly pretty fun today there's literally nothing to do so but this my cell phone. This is gonna be my last time sitting in this spot for grade eight. I don't know if I'm gonna come back and sit in this spot, but it's the last one for this year. So, yeah, so I just admire this space because this is my usual eating spot. The auditorium. I'm gonna eat now because I'm pretty hungry. I have a Vietnamese sandwich to eat.
I tried to sink myself into the gym, but I don't have PE this semester, and I got kicked out. But I was trying to go with my friend because she has PE. That didn't work out, so still trying to find something to do. Okay, I'm done walking around now because I have to go to my socials class, and that is my last class of eighth grade. So um, I think I'm around like 310. We're leaving since it's after school, so I basically have about an hour or so to kill off in social studies. Yeah, I don't think we're gonna do anything. Probably just like reflections and then just go on the phone because there's absolutely nothing to do. See? So I'll see you after school. I finished class. Class is officially over. I'm just going to the Just finish my social studies recorded my last day of my eighth grade year and for the end of this video i want to give you guys my thoughts and reflections now that my eighth grade year is officially over so i put this in a few categories so it's easier to understand and by the way this is probably gonna be a little shorter because i don't want this video to be super long as i already have other clips from my school vlogs so it's just me a little quick reflection but I put this into a few categories and the first one I have is reflection and this is about how I am currently feeling now that 8th grade is officially over and basically my thoughts on it. And then I have memories and I broke this down into two subcategories and that is classroom memories where I basically just talk about my classes and the memories I had in them. And then the second one is memories I made in 8th grade and this is basically just school events I may or may have not attended. And then I have mental health and I think it's pretty self-explanatory just what I feel as a person and like if I improved my mental health or not. And then lastly I have thoughts and goals and this is about how I am currently feeling now that I'll be going to ninth grade after summer break. And then also goals that I have for ninth grade. So um, I'm going to skim through a few of these quickly because I don't want this video to be super long. So first one is reflection. So how am I currently feeling? That's a great question. <laughs> Honestly, I feel great. Like um, the stress is over and I've pretty much made it. So obviously I'm happy about that. I think, like I said in the beginning of the video, I'm like sad and happy at the same time because great, it was fun, but also I get to go into future grades and continue my academic stuff. So I feel sad and happy, but overall, I really like this year. So that's my reflection right now on how I feel by 8th grade. It went super smoothly, so I'm really happy with how it turned out. So next we have memories, and this is classroom memories first. So honestly, for teachers, I really liked most of my teachers, but I think my favorite teachers are probably my math and English teacher because they're honestly super nice and they basically helped me through a lot of stuff and I definitely improved math the most. Like I suck at math, I don't like math, but um, with my teacher's help, I definitely improved a lot and I got better grades from that. And for English, I'm definitely good at English already, but with my English teacher, she definitely um, pushed me through a lot of um, obstacle courses and I am writing a lot more better now and I'm really happy that we did a lot of things because for projects, um, this one I mostly like my English projects but um, I don't know if I told you guys this but I did a drama project that I know I told you guys I did with work project which is the candy machine and then I did a French action video which I want to say was my favorite but I got to hang out with people after school so I think that was the highlight of it. And then for drama music video, I honestly only liked it for the editing because I did all of the editing myself. And I won't show you guys it because, oh my god, it's not cringing in the back. 
Okay, I'm not going to show it to you guys, but I'm definitely proud of it because after looking at everyone else's, I was like, okay, I definitely think I did a lot more than everyone else. For um, the Woodward candy machine, I already showed you guys in the video. If you want to check it out, I'll put a link and image here. And then um, I have the English stuff that I want to talk about, which is a essay and also like reading. And I also did a one pager where you basically pick a poem and it could be like a song too. So I chose August by Taylor Swift. And that's probably one of my favorite projects I've ever done in my life because I worked so hard on it, like day and night. Like I, I, I'm insert a picture here and you can also go to my Instagram and see it. But yeah, and then my essays, um, we did the outsiders so that was like a mandatory essay you had to do and i wrote about the outsiders and i got full marks on it and then we did a writing journal essay where you can pick anything and i wrote about daisy jones in the six and i also got full marks on that so as you can see i really love english and obviously we did reading and actually most of the reading i did this year was mostly library books so i didn't have to go out of my way to buy books so that's why i read way more than last year the next one I have is memories I made in 8th grade and for school events um, I honestly really liked the carnival event we did and this one we basically it's just like booths and stuff like vendors and like activities and games and stuff like that there's like dunk tank there's what there's like dances like dance clubs like clubs were like performing so and there was like band like stuff like that but um it's definitely one of my favorites um out of this year because i actually bought stuff i brought crochet stuff and also a phone charm and i also ate a lot of stuff so i'm really happy about that um honestly the memories i didn't really attend too much because honestly it was already set into the eighth grade like stuff i don't know how to explain it but we did like homework activities which you obviously had to do and it was basically just to get to know the people in your homeroom and also like um how the school like runs and stuff but it wasn't my favorite because i definitely think it was definitely time wasting because i couldn't use that fit time but it's all right <laughs> it's okay and then we had sports day also for eighth graders and it was okay it was really underwhelming and then we also had volleyball basketball and badminton games which I attended some of them and for the badminton, I don't know if I told you, I don't think so, I told you guys this, but I did try out for the badminton team, but I didn't make it, but honestly, I'm not too mad about it because I honestly had a really busy schedule semester too, so I'm pretty happy I didn't actually make it or else I'll be super stressed, but yeah, so I did try that, but I didn't make it and that's fine, and then I had a bunch of PE field trips so we had hiking, swimming, skating, bowling and my favorite of all those was bowling because I never actually went bowling before so it was really fun because I did it with a couple of friends but yeah so those are the memories I made in 8th grade next we have mental health and honestly I think um, for this year I definitely became more confident in myself and also I was way more open-minded and I try new things so I'm really happy with what I accomplished with my mental health and also I did try to treat myself after um, hard times like stressful times and I definitely went easier on myself this year, which is why I think I became a lot more happier this year. So I'm really grateful for that. And I also try new hobbies. If you guys know, I started reading last year. So with um, content creating and also reading, it also made me a lot more happier as well. And I also had a big academic success improvement. And I'm really happy with that because I feel like when you open your mind a little bit, you see things a lot more differently so i try to do that and it actually helped a lot more and that's why i think i improved so much as a person so i did super good in my classes so i'm really happy about that and then lastly thoughts and goals so how am i currently feeling about grade nine it's kind of funny because um in the beginning of the video i said okay i don't think i'll be too nervous and that i am honestly very ready for grade nine and now that i think about it I don't think I am honestly because um, I feel like I don't, I don't think it'll be too big of a difference but I do feel a bit nervous just because of the work and stuff and like who I'm gonna get and I won't tell you guys my classes yet and um, I don't know the arrangement yet because they haven't um, told us 
but I do know the electives I chose and stuff, but I don't want to tell you guys yet until the next video where I do a get ready with me or the first day or something like that. But yeah, so I'll tell you guys next time, but honestly, I feel scared, but um, hopefully it's not too bad because I made it through grade 8. I can probably make it through grade 9. So yeah. And then lastly for goals, honestly, my only goals is just to continue what I am doing right now because I think I just did so good this year. And I think if I continue to do that, then I think everything should be fine. And um, there are a few things I want to try to do, which is join new clubs because honestly, dumb me, like stupid me um, back in September or I think October, something like that, like, I didn't realize that there was, um, club meetings during lunch, and I didn't go, so I didn't know there was a library club and a book club, and those two things I really want to join, but, um, unfortunately, I didn't go, so I didn't know there was actually a club for it, and I didn't know the times, so it was kind of too late already, because I'm pretty sure, especially for library club, like, the librarian told me it was full, so I couldn't really join until semester two. But then once semester two rolled around, like I was honestly super stressed with all my um, stuff already that I just decided, hey, not, let's not do this right now. But with book club, I didn't know if it was worth joining because we only like, I think the club only meets once every month on a certain day during fit. And I was like, okay, I don't think I'm going to do that because it's only like once a month, so... That's why I was like, okay, let's just not join anything, maybe until next year. So hopefully next year I can join more things because I definitely want to join the library club the most. And the book club, I don't really know. I, I think it's just like, I don't know what the age group for that is. Like, I don't want to be with like really random people who are like not the same age as me. But um, we'll see about that. And then I have focus on school and I definitely think I did that this year. I definitely focus like on school way more than I did before and that really helps improve my mental health. So I want to continue doing that. And also my last one is trying new things. So basically the joint clubs and just like taking risks and stuff because I'm only going to have like a few chances in life in high school because high school is only one time in your life. So that's why I want to try new things. So that is it for my reflection for this video. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and um, I'll see you guys in the next vlog for school. And that is crazy because I feel like I just started making school vlogs like a few days ago, but this whole year already went by super quick and we're already in our second school vlogs for the next year, grade nine. So I really hope you guys will stick along with me in this journey and hopefully make it to senior year if we even do, if I even continue making content. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys next time. Bye Raider Raccoons!